Hey guys, Youngblood with you in another 3.2 video with a new ship on board. We got the Aegis Eclipse here. Um, this is the same one you saw me flying during the Quantum Travel video um, as far as the new mechanics is concerned, but this is the uh, Stealth Bomber in Star Citizen. Uh, it kind of looks like a Stealth Bomber, it's shaped like a Stealth Bomber, and it kind of acts like one. Um, as far as the overall design, really, really cool. Um, it was built well in the verse. Um, right now I'm in Arena Commander. This is... Um, Dying Star, so it's a little bit different look. Uh, you can see the uh, edges of the wings, they fold up when you land, and what actually happens here is from inside the wing, which is normally going to be tucked into this portion of it, the landing gear actually retracts. So it's a pretty cool design element. It's a little bit different than anything else we've really had in the game as far as the way this works. And then when you take off, this will actually fold down, that will retract, and you end up having yourself a flat um, kind of a V-shaped delta uh, type of ship. As far as the engines are concerned, it's, uh, again, very sleek, designed to keep the emissions down. It's uh, not much of an opening, and I think it's supposed to be just a streamlined exit. Um, you also have another uh, piece of landing gear up at the front, and it looks like the bomb bay is currently open, so let me see if I can crouch down and show you. There you go. There's three size 9 torpedoes on the inside of this thing. Uh, also, here you've got... Um, two of the uh, Scorpion GT215 Gatling guns. These are the same ones that are on the nose of the um, Gladius. So it's a pretty decent uh, Gatling on here, and you've got two of them. So it's a fair amount of firepower, but you probably want to keep in mind that this ship isn't necessarily meant to be some, you know, super dogfighter. You know, the armor is stealth. It's not, you know, real hardened and designed to take a lot of damage. It's not the fastest ship in the verse. Um, you know, you're really designed to sneak in and get out. That's more of a last resort than anything um you know the nice thing about ballistics is is you're not going to be putting off a lot of em signature when you're not firing because you're not powering it with the power plant all that much um, now if you decide to you know light up your weapons they're going to be real hot on the ir side of things so you want to kind of be aware of that as far as the um you know your signature management is concerned in the game so the door here it acts a lot like a Gladius or a uh, you know a saber as far as the way it looks it is an Aegis ship um, the cockpit is kind of uh, fancy it looks stealth you know it's dark it's green um, as far as the visibility is concerned there's a few things I like and a few things I don't first off um, this area right up here um, it really overhangs it gives you access to all these switches that don't currently do anything anyways but you know aesthetically it's kind of nice having all this stuff within reach it's very current technology I guess focused um, and you know you got this kind of console that comes up in this thing whatever the heck it is you know you get some things that are really limiting your vertical vi uh, visibility out of the ship that being said you know you're you're tracking a target from a long distance off you should have plenty of ability to be able to keep your target in the zone and not have a lot of issues what's really nice though is the horizontal visibility or your lateral visibility you know to the side i mean you basically have a clear shot all the way to i don't know what is this like 70 degrees um with this little bar here but it's not really all that significant the same thing over here so visibility wise i kind of like the layout um though you know if this was more of a dogfighter i would obviously have more concerns but you know maybe you're kind of sitting off in the distance and you're kind of tracking somebody outside of their range to scan you but you're able to see them you know you can kind of keep an eye on them from the side as you're cruising along at the similar speed ready to strike whenever you get to that point now another thing i don't like about visibility here is there's smudges on the glass and i know i'm looking at an asteroid here it's probably a bad example um there's smudges on the glass, but in addition to the smudges, it looks like you've been attacked by some alien beast. You see all these scratches on here? I'm hoping this is just part of their wear design, and it's later going to go away when we actually get a brand new ship, or you'll have the ability to fix it in the verse, but I hate this. Um, especially, it's not as noticeable, like the asteroid right here is really bright, so it's not as noticeable. But when you get the darkness of space behind it, or you get light reflecting in from behind, it really becomes a distraction, and I think it kind of needs to stop from their new ships, just because it doesn't do you any good right now. Nobody really wants it. Um, other than that, you have a lot of MFDs in here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Um, so you can have, you know, basically mo the majority of your menu, um, you know, commands up here. I think you have eight, so you can get, you know, five out of eight of them, which is pretty good. Um, and especially when you have something like target status, for example, you're going to have that up here on your HUD anyway. So it's like, well, do you really need to have that down here? So you get a lot of visibility and options as far as controlling your ship goes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, power this thing up. Uh, we'll do a little bit of flying around. Um, and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll talk about the ship. 
So as far as the flight on this ship is concerned, it's got a top speed in SCM of 195 uh, meters per second. The top speed at cruise is about 980 meters per second. Um, the acceleration, I think, is slightly better than I expected it to be, but honestly, it's nothing impressive. It's not like it's going to be, you know, a, you know, a drag racer or anything like that. It's meant to sneak up on targets more than actually catch up to targets. But the acceleration is a little bit better than I um, expected. The agility, I've seen some mixed kind of reviews on. Um, I personally think it's better than I expected it to be. Um, you know, it's kind of average for some of like the medium to like smaller ships. You know, like if you kind of to compare it to something like a Hornet, it's pretty similar to a Hornet. Um, you know, a Hornet's a little bit more agile, but it's not really all that different. Um, but, you know, on a ship that's like a bomber like this, I was expecting it to be less, even when they talked about agility not necessarily being a real perk for it in the uh, release of the ship. Um, as far as the weapons go, like I mentioned, two size two uh, Scorpion Gatling guns, pretty good, right? The missiles, it's got three size nine torpedoes. Um, those torpedoes are interesting. Um, I'd like to go ahead and apologize to whoever I blew up in the PTU. Um, I wanted to try and chat you and tell you I was going to shoot at you and apologize in advance or even after, but the chat bugged out and I couldn't see it while I was in the ship. So um, I made a sacrifice to the uh, channel and I apologize. Anyways, um, the, the lock-on range for these torpedoes, um, I'm seeing reports of people saying it's like 800 meters. I'm seeing reports of people saying it's 3,100 meters. Um, I was able to lock on around the 2,000 meter mark. So it seems to be a little bit different for everybody. Um, I also had an issue where I couldn't lock onto a prospector that was doing some mining, but I was able to get lock onto this constellation. Um, as far as the damage is concerned, about one torpedo will take out um, most of the smaller ships. Um, one or it took two torpedoes to take out a constellation. So you can kind of see the significance of the payload that these eclipses are bringing along and the amount of damage that they can end up doing to other ships down the line. Uh, so overall, I mean, the ship itself, I love the design. It's fun to fly. It's kind of cool. I have some con slight concerns about people trolling with it. Um, I don't really know how stealthy this is right now. I haven't gone in and done like in-depth testing from a um, like a stealth approach to see how far out people can pick you up as opposed to something like um, you know, like a retaliator or even like a freelancer or something like that. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, we'll have further testing on that. Maybe even do like a stealth off and have like a ghost versus a saber versus a EX versus a eclipse or something like that. We'll see. But, um, the other thing I forgot to mention about the torpedoes is that it takes about uh, 12 seconds to actually complete the lock-on. Um, and then when you actually go to launch the torpedo, it kind of comes out at a strange angle. Um, and then it's not real fast as far as tracking to your target. Uh, so if you're going against a really like fast or nimble ship like a fighter, you know, using these torpedoes, it's going to be one, hard to get the lock. And two, um, it, actually landing the shot may be really difficult as well. Um, I haven't really done a lot of testing against faster targets, but just knowing what torpedoes did in previous releases, I think that's going to probably carry over here, especially since they're part of the Talon line. So that's basically it for the Eclipse. Um, if you guys have questions, please let me know. Otherwise, stay tuned for a lot more coming soon. Have yourselves a wonderful day and take care.